I gave this girl gum. Look at me, girl. Good morning. We're at the hospital. I'm waiting for Bailey to come out of her MRI. The specialist has decided that we should do an MRI to see what's going on with her optic nerves and muscles. We're hoping that it will provide some answers to the questions we have about her vision and the issues that she's having, maybe a clue as to what's going on with her migraines. So I'm waiting. She's in and finding out that she needed an IV contrast was pretty hard. She doesn't do well with them and uh, getting a needle into her is really, really difficult. It takes a long time. So I'm just sitting here praying, feeling awful because I can't go in there with her and just waiting. So we're home, have been for quite a while. Bailey is trying to sleep because she didn't sleep last night. Still having lots of sleep problems. It turns out that you can't do an MRI when you have braces. And that is something that we had wondered about. And Bailey mentioned to me that of course she was wearing a mask when she saw the doctor. And so they would have no idea that she had braces. And so they went ahead and scheduled it <laughs> without us thinking to mention it to the doctor. And so when we went in this morning, uh, the huge perk to her having braces is that they couldn't do the IV. Um, and so she didn't end up with the IV and the injection, which is good. She said they did a partial one. I, now, I don't know for sure. Bailey is sleeping, so I don't know exactly what they did. It sounds like they did what they could, but that is just going to have to be that until she gets her braces off. And so... Now we wait. I think I'll wait a couple of days until hopefully the MRI results can be at the doctor's office before I phone the, the doctor who's an eye specialist again and figure out what we're going to do from here. It's one of those experiences that you just kind of go, okay, like I, I just don't know where to go from here. It was kind of funny though because we went in with our masks on. Most of the hospital workers, people who were showing up for work at the same time that we were getting there, went in, walked right past us, everything, no masks on, nothing. And Calgary has a bylaw that you have to wear a mask in public spaces. So that was kind of odd. You get to the top of the stairs into the main level of the hospital and you have to go and stand, answer a bunch of questions, all of that. They give you hand sanitizer, like this super strong stuff. They squirt it into your hand. Then they make you take your mask off and throw it in the garbage. And then they sanitize your hands again. And then they give you a new mask that you put on and then they sanitize your hands again. And there must have been a lot of alcohol in the hand sanitizer because my hands were freezing afterwards, <laughs> like so cold. And so I was bugging Bailey, telling her that I was going to be like inebriated by the time that we left just because of how much alcohol was in their hand sanitizer. But that was an experience. Uh, we've had to have like temperatures done and stuff like that uh, at the hotel and whatnot, but they didn't take temperature at all. They just really wanted you to wear their masks instead. And then Bailey said that when she went back, her mask got switched three times while she was back there. They kept doing the same thing with changing her mask out over and over again. Kind of interesting. Oh, the saga of the loose tooth. Look at this. Just a sec. It's blurry. Okay. Oh. <laughs> this girl has been trying to lose both sides, right? Not just that side. Because this side, same thing crazy Yay! but it just doesn't quite want to come out the adult teeth are just above it oh. and it's proving yeah it's proving a bit difficult to get them I've out of so there I've had so many toothaches with this one yeah it's tough did isn't you it? see that I lost the toothache you did and your big adult teeth are growing in mm -hmm. I got three one two three that's right. See? As you can see, we are dressed to head to the river. You ready? Wait, this is, this one is going really good. Oh, it's okay. like Here's really big. Me. Oh, yeah, it's hard to see back there. She has a molar that came in. So I gave this girl gum. Look at me, girl. And she lost her tooth. No, I didn't chew the gum and lose my tooth. It was, um, I ran and I accidentally knocked it okay. and so I went to jump into the water and 
crazy. I think you better go spit like in the bushes or something though, not in the water, okay? Okay. That's crazy. I'm so glad for you. Here. I can't even swallow them. Must I've got tooth. blood in my gum. Ewe, ewe, ewe. When we don't have anything with us to deal with someone losing a tooth and now this girl wants to get rid of her gum and I don't have anything. I have to figure something out Can here. You dump like water on it. I think you're more worried about your gum than anything else. Oh now you have a hair. Oh my goodness. Congratulations on one more tooth down. Okay, do it. These girls have been wanting to go over the rapids, so we're going to head down the river because we've got Mr. Kato here. And we're going to float down. Here we come to the rapids. I'm trying to show up Clancy's healthy bran muffins with a little less healthy bran muffins. These are Clancy's. Yeah, Caden's finishing off the vanilla cream pie from his birthday. If it makes you feel good, bud. Okay. And I am making regular bran muffins. Tiggy's reading. Addie's playing on the pewter. She's gaming. It is muffin night at the McNeil house. Now Bailey and Kieran are coming. I hear it's Kieran, Bailey's supervising. Kieran is coming to make banana muffins. So here's my muffins. <laughs> and Clancy's got his packed away now. But there's a whole plate of thawed bananas and he's claiming that he's changed his mind. There better be some banana muffins. Clancy and I are going for a bike ride. And we're back. We were greeted by two fawns. The twins were here, but they're not now. They left. Not sure where Mama is. 